Hallelujah. Good evening, everyone. I just want you where you are to bless the name of the Lord, to count your blessings. You know, the songwriter said, I'm counting my blessings. I am counting my blessings. I'm naming them one by one. What has the Lord not done for us? There is a lot that the Lord has done. And you know, we just want to extend our thanksgiving. We don't want our thanksgiving to be just a one-off. We don't want it to be just something that we say one day and we go back to the rest of the prayer list. We go back to the things that we think God has not done. We go back to the ones that we're, we're still waiting for. We ch- let's just dwell on the thanksgiving. Let's just dwell on what our God has done. In this year, even alone in this 2023, there is a lot that you and I have to be grateful to God for. Number one, we are alive at such a time as this. Number two, you're not just alive. You are alive in the natural realm. You are alive physically, but not, not just alive physically. You are alive spiritually as well because you have given your life to Christ. If, uh, if any of us is in Christ Jesus, the Bible says we are new creatures. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. The fact that we are in Christ means that uh, we are doubly alive. You are alive physically. You are alive spiritually. Even that alone is a reason to praise the Lord. I want you to come to the Lord with rejoicing. With rejoicing. Let your heart be full of thanks. Let your heart be full of praise. Thank the Lord. Bless him. Every single thing in your life right now, brethren, that you don't even count. You don't even count as a breakthrough. Do you know that it's somebody else's prayer point? Yesterday, I was reading um, an article in the Manchester Evening news where they went to um where the town hall is in Manchester and they said in that place where the Christmas markets are put up and if you've ever been to the Christmas markets they're very expensive they said in the midst of all that spending where the Christmas markets are they said people are sleeping outside people are sleeping rough you and I know that it's been snowing over the weekend and and the journalist said you know the night he was interviewing the people over the weekend he said it was minus four it was minus four in the night and this people were sleeping on the street they were lying down on the pavement there was one that said he doesn't even use a sleeping bag anymore he just lies on the ground he said because when he had a sleeping bag people would set fire to the sleeping bag for fun they would set fire to his sleeping bag. He said one day he was in the sleeping bag. Somebody cut it off at the bottom and stole his shoes. He said all sorts of things have happened. So now he doesn't even use a sleeping bag. At minus four degrees, he's sleeping outside. He's sleeping on the pavement. Child of God, when did you ever sleep on the pavement or under a bridge? Here you are in your warm house. Some of you are in bed or you're wearing your onesies or whatever warm clothes. Let's just thank the Lord tonight. Let's bless his name. Our God is faithful. Let us count our blessings uh, and name them one by one. We want to rejoice in his presence. Uh, we want to come with that attitude uh, that says, Lord, my heart overflows uh, with the goodness and the mercy, the grace and the favor, the loving kindness you've shown us. Uh, God, you are faithful. God, you are good. Uh, God, you are kind. Uh, we honor you tonight. Uh, we thank you, Lord. Uh, we are counting our blessings uh, and we decide to rejoice and praise the Lord. Uh, we rejoice and bless his name. Uh, we lift him high because our God is faithful. Our God is dependable. Our God is reliable. Our God is consistent. He is great and greatly to be praised. Even the things we take for granted that even, you know, different parts of your body are working well. You can join the prayer line and hear what is being said. Your sense of hearing has not been taken from you. You can look on your phone and find the Zoom logins because your sense of sight has not been taken from you. You can walk up and down the stairs uh, because your mobility is not being taken from you. Uh, you can eat food uh, and even have a problem with fasting because you have provision uh, and because you can even swallow that food and not choke on it. Uh, you are able to breathe independently because the Lord has been faithful. Uh, let us bless the name of the Lord. Uh, let us thank him. Uh, we don't dwell enough on the good things God has done. We don't dwell enough on our thanksgiving. Uh, Lord, we are saying thank you. You have done great things. Uh, you have done mighty works. Uh, the songwriter I said, uh, and when I thought Jesus had done it now, uh, Jesus did it again. Uh, Jesus did it again. Uh, he has done it again. Uh, every day, um, every day, every hour, God, you are doing new things. Uh, you are doing awesome things. Uh, and so we thank you. 
We bless you tonight. We exalt your name. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah to the one who sits enthroned forever. Hallelujah to the mighty one. Hallelujah to the one who does awesome wonders. The wonder working God. We want to thank him. We want to bless him. We glorify his name in this season. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something. Jesus has done it again. He has done it again. You say, what has he done? Healing, deliverance, provision, help, promotion, open doors. He has done it again. I just want you to thank him. You know, don't, don't, don't be that person who gives Thanksgiving for one second and then goes back to their long prayer list. I just want you to take a moment, even as we, we worship and sing, thank him and say, Lord, I rejoice because you have done it again. I shout and praise the Lord. I glorify the name of God. I give him thanks because he did it again. He did it again. My life, everything is a testimony. Some of us should have died many years ago. But look at the grace of God that has kept us. That is keeping us to our old age. It is coming from my heart. Praise and thanks unto you, Lord. Him, oh God, we are grateful tonight. You have done it again, Lord. You have shown us your goodness. You have shown us your mercy. Thank you for this December, Lord. Thank you for this last month of the year 2023. And we rejoice in your presence. We rejoice. We rejoice, Lord. We refuse for anything to shut our mouth. We refuse for anything to steal our joy. We refuse for anything to to tell us that you're not good because you are good Lord you are reliable you are consistent you are wonderful mighty God we are counting our blessings we cannot even exhaust what you have done when we thought God we have seen you you keep showing us new dimensions of your mercy you keep showing us greater heights father you are we are grateful thank you mighty God thank you king of glory you are worthy to be praised you are worthy to be exalted Thank you, Father. Everything that we have is a testimony. Lord, everything, even the power, Lord, oh God of salvation, it all came from your mercy. Everything, Lord, we have, it is a testimony to your goodness. We want to say thank you. We want to praise you, O oh God. We glorify your name. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Brethren, I was talking to one of my relatives the other day. This relative said to me, that they've not been sleeping. They cannot sleep. Some people, your problem is that you cannot wake up. You, you sleep a lot. You know, you wish you can wake up to pray. Some people, they cannot even sleep. Even that three hours of sleep per night is a testimony. Five hours of sleep is a testimony that you even have to set your alarm to come to prayer line is a testimony because some people can't sleep. They can't sleep. Some people don't even know the way out. You and I, when you have a bad dream, you know, to wake up in the morning to go to the Lord in prayer and the Lord takes care of it. Brethren, do you know some people don't even have a way out right now? They don't know what to do with all the challenges they have. They can't find a way out. Child of God, we ought to rejoice and praise the Lord because you and I, we know the God who is the solution provider, the one who is greater and greatly to be praised, the one who has solved all our dilemmas. Every time we don't know what to do, all we need to do is pray in tongues. All we need to do is worship God and the solution comes. Father, we want to say thank you. We want to bless your name. The Bible says in Psalm 47, all oh, clap your hands, all you people shout to God. With the voice of triumph, have we not triumphed, child of God, that we are here today is because we have triumphed in Jesus name. The enemy could not kill you yesterday, cannot kill you today, cannot kill you tomorrow. You are living to a good old age. We shout to the Lord with the voice of triumph. He says with songs of joy, let the joy of the Lord, which is our strength, break forth from our hearts. The Bible says rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. It says for the Lord most high is to be faithful yet and is to be worshipped with all inspired reverence and obedience he is a great king over all the earth he subdues people under us 
and nations under our feet. Yes, the enemy rises up sometimes, but when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord raises up a standard against him. The Bible says, yes, they shall surely gather, but because they've not gathered by me, they will fall for your sake. He says, I will contend with those who contend with you. Father God, we are grateful. Let us thank him tonight that the Lord God, he has put us in this position where he subdues people under us and nations under our feet. Every satanic uprising, God has subdued it under our feet. Ah, Lord, we thank you tonight. The Bible says he chooses our inheritance for us. The glory and the excellence of Jacob, whom he loves. You and I, we have a goodly heritage. The Bible says God has chosen an inheritance for us. And what is our inheritance? It says it's the glory and the excellence of Jacob, whom God loves. Every promise that God gave to Father Abraham, gave to Isaac, gave to Jacob. You and I have been given all those promises as a gift. The Abrahamic covenant still speaks to us, the Gentiles, because that's what the Bible tells us in Galatians 3, 13 and 14. So tonight, thank the Lord and say, Lord, I thank you for choosing our inheritance for us. I thank you that you have given us the glory and the excellence of Jacob, whom you love. Thank you, almighty God. Glory, excellence is our portion. Malika Bible says in Psalm 47 verse 5, God has ascended amidst shoutings. God has ascended. He's ascended into his throne. As you are shouting and praising, as you rejoice and praise the Lord, the Lord has ascended. The Lord has ascended with the sound of a trumpet. He says, sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises for God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises in a skillful psalm and with understanding. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. He sits on the throne. He is on the throne. He rules and reigns. He is in control. He is in control over the affairs of our lives. Our God is almighty, all powerful. He is great and greatly to be praised. We rejoice and praise the Lord. We rejoice and praise him. Hey, in the name of Jesus Father we thank you thank you Lord Bible says in Psalm 47 verse 9 the princes of the people have gathered together as the people of the God of Abraham it says for the shields of the earth belong to God he is highly exalted the shields of the earth the shields of the earth belong to him that is to say wherever you and I need defense we need protection we need shielding because the shields of the earth belong to God we are protected let's thank him the one who is uh, the God who has watched over our security he is the one who is in charge of our security he is the one who has protected and kept us look at where we are today we can rejoice and and sing in his presence because the shields of the earth belong to our god and he's able to keep out the evil arrows father we say thank you we exalt your name we exalt your name lord we bless your name we bless your name we rejoice and praise the lord we shout and praise the lord because you have done great things, oh God. We are counting our blessings. We are counting our blessings. Awesome is our God. Awesome is our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And then he says in Psalm 48, from verses 1 and 2, I'm reading the New King James translation. The Bible says, Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. In the mountain of his holiness. And you know you and I when we are praying right now. We are on the mountain of his holiness. We are upon Mount Zion through the blood of Jesus. Through the mediation and the intercession of Jesus. We are on the mountain of his holiness. And he says the Lord is great. And greatly to be praised in this city. Where you and I are. He says in verse 2 of Psalm 48. He is beautiful for all situations. Whatever is the situation in our lives right now, he is beautiful in that situation. I want us to thank him and say, Lord, I thank you that you are great and you are greatly to be praised. Right here on Mount Zion, Lord, thank you that you are beautiful for all the situations in our lives. You are beautiful in every circumstance, in every happening, in every eventuality. Lord, you are good. You are good. You are good. You are beautiful for all situations. You are fair and beautiful in elevation. In the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Father. And then the Bible says he is the joy of the whole earth. That means our joy is embedded in him. And since we are in his presence, it means that our joy knows no bounds because at his right hand, they are pleasures forevermore. Hallelujah. Let us thank him tonight and say, Lord, I thank you because you are the joy of the whole earth. And as I'm in your presence, Lord, I experience that joy. I experience that goodness. We thank you, Lord, for the Pleasures forevermore. Hele masuke le bo shala basiya. Masuke le bo kura ba 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 ba. Hele masuke le bo siya. Masuke le bo. You are the joy of the whole earth. We worship you tonight. Lem brada da bo se kele bo siya. As we are in your presence, thank you that the joy is flowing from your presence into our lives. Masuke kele ketele kalikata. Limba luga do siya ndara bo siya. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Let's let's combine some 48 with some 16. Some 16. Some 16 verse 5. The Bible says, "The Lord is the portion of my inheritance. He is my cup. He is all I need. And you support my lot, Lord." The Lord doesn't just give me an inheritance. He doesn't just give me all I need. He supports that lot. Whatever is my lot, my lot is my portion. My lot is my portion is my inheritance is what God has apportioned to me. And the Bible says that God himself is my portion. God himself, I inherit him. I inherit all that he is. So he is all that I need because I inherit him and he, he maintains my lot. He supports my lot. Begin to thank the Lord tonight and say, Lord, I thank you that you are the portion of my inheritance. You, you, you are my inheritance. It is you that I inherit. And because you are El Shaddai, the double breasted God who is more than enough to meet every need because you are my inheritance. There is nothing that I'm lacking. Everything I need is in you and you are my inheritance. You are what I inherit. You are my portion. You are my portion. Now nobody can take you away from me because you are my portion. And Lord, I thank you that what you have portioned out to me, you maintain, you maintain, you support my lot. What you have given to me, you maintain it, you support. And so I thank you, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus name. And then he says in, 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 in verse six, when we read verse six in the King James, in the new King James, it says the lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yeah, I have a goodly heritage. We read it in the Amplified. It says the boundary lines of the land. You know, imagine that the land is being divided. It says the boundary lines of the land have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, my heritage is beautiful to me. Ah, the lines have fallen unto me in pleasant places as God is apportioning my portion, apportioning my inheritance. What he has given me is beautiful. It is pleasant. It is good. I want you to thank God and say as this year 2023 rounds off and as I step into 2024, Lord, I thank you that the lines have fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yes, the boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, my heritage is good. My heritage is beautiful. Yes, Lord, I I am ending 2023 on a high note. I am stepping into 2024, riding the waves of your goodness, riding the waves of your pleasantness. Yes. Everything I have, it is wonderful. What the Lord has given me in my family, in my children, my spouse, everything about me, my finances, business, academics, professional life, our spiritual life, every gift you have given me, Lord, is wonderful. I am grateful. The lines have fallen unto me in pleasant places. When we look around us, we say, thank you, Lord. We are ending this year well, and we are entering 2024 well, because our portion is good. The lines have fallen unto us in pleasant places. Indeed, our heritage is beautiful to us. It is beautiful in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Amen. And then he says in verse 7 of Psalm 16, I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. I will bless him because he has given me counsel. He has counseled me. 
Even my, 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 my heart instructs me in the night seasons. God is speaking to me. He says, my rains also instruct me in the night season. God has put rains over me. I, 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 I'm not just out of control. There are rains that are directing me and guiding me. I'm not just out of control. I'm not just going anywhere. There are rains that God can rein me in. You know, like how somebody reins in a horse with a bridle and the reins, and then they can just rein in the horse. They can tell the horse. When you look at those, um, you know, the show horses and, and they have like obstacles to jump over. And, and, and the person who's riding the horse, you know, the jockey, he can use the reins and rein in the horse and enable the horse to jump over the barriers. And the, the Lord has counseled me. I want you to thank God and say, Lord, I thank you as I'm ending this year and entering 2024 that you have counseled me because my reins are instructing me in the night seasons. You, you're able to hold the reins and where there is a barrier, there is an impediment, there is anything that wants to hinder me. You're able just to instruct me so that I jump over the barrier. You're able to to just instruct me so that where, where, where I need to pick up speed, I pick up speed. Where I need to slow down, I slow down. I can walk according to your counsel. Begin to thank the Lord and say, I will bless the Lord who has counseled me. The Lord is my counsel. You know, like when people go into the court of law and they have counsel, they have barristers who understand the rules of engagement, who understand the laws of the land and know how the law ought to be used for breakthrough. Like right now, Holy Spirit is counsel telling us. Father God is giving us counsel even when we sleep. That's why we dream the dreams we dream because our reigns are instructing us in the night season. Our God is speaking to us. Yes, he's giving us instructions. He's reigning us in. He is showing us what to do. I receive the grace to respond to the counsel of the Lord when the spirit of wisdom, when the spirit of understanding, when the spirit of counsel is counseling me, I receive the grace to respond. Hey, like that well-trained horse, like that well-trained race horse, Lord, where I need to pick up speed, I receive the grace to follow the instructions and pick up speed. Where I need to slow down, I receive the grace to listen and slow down. I put on the blinkers of the Holy Spirit. I refuse to look to the left or to the right, but I look on the path that you have set for us, oh God, the path of victory, the path of breakthrough, uh, the path of increase, uh, the path of enlargement. Uh, hey, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that our reigns are instructing us even tonight when we go to bed. Uh, more revelation, more dreams, uh, more visions. Uh, thank you for the dreams, uh, the prophetic dreams, uh, the prophetic insights. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Shele Mahanda. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you, O oh God. We give you praise. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In, in, in verse 8 of Psalm 16, the Bible says, I have set the Lord continually before me. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory, my innermost self rejoices. Hallelujah. My body too will dwell confidently in safety. I want you to begin to declare as I end 2023 and as we enter 2024, I have set the Lord continually before me. God is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. My family will not be shaken. My spouse will not be shaken. My children will not be shaken. My brothers and sisters will not be shaken. My nieces, my nephews will not be shaken. My parents, grandparents, uh, my brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, none of us will be shaken. The children of God will not be shaken. We have set the Lord at our right hand. We are not going to be moved. The Almighty God is at our right hand. We will not be shaken. We will not be moved. Our heart is glad. Our glory rejoices. Our body too dwells confidently in safety. Our physical body is safe. Our spiritual body is safe. Our soul is safe. Our soul we are not shaken. We are not shaken. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Psalm 16 verse 11. Psalm 16 verse 11. The Bible says, you will show me the path of life. 
in your presence is fullness of joy not just joy but fullness when the joy is full there is nothing else remaining you're like what else what else can god do for me honestly joy is full jesus said here therefore up to now you have not asked me anything he says ask so that your joy will be full ask me so that your joy will be full child of god there is a there is a spiritual condition called the fullness of joy and this is what we want ask ask therefore so that your joy may be full ask therefore so that your joy may be full child of god go ahead and say lord i am asking you to show me the pathway of life show me the pathway of life show me lord i am asking tonight show me the pathway of life because there is a path that when i decipher i walk in fullness of joy there is a path that when i enter it ends in fullness of joy there is a road that i take that is called uh, directions to fullness of joy that, that road that takes me to fullness of joy lord i pray show me the pathway of life show me the path uh, that unique path uh, that have been wired for my destiny that has been wired uh, for my destiny the reason why i'm here on earth Show me the path for your life. In your presence is fullness of joy. Lord, take me there. Take me there, Lord. Take me to that place of fullness of joy. Jesus, my King, you say that in John 16, 24. Until now, hear that to fall. You have not asked for anything in my name. Ask, ask using my name and you will receive and your joy will be complete. Your joy will be full. When you read it in the NIV, it says, until now, you have not asked for anything in my name you might say but father i've been asking and god is saying you've been asking for chicken change up to now <laughs> you've not placed a demand on the glory up to now you've been asking some sm small type of prayers you've been you've been dwelling in safety you've been saying let me ask according to what i understand what i perceive but what about that infinitely abundantly far above that which i can ever ask think or imagine according to the power that is at work on the inside of me he says until now you have not asked for anything in my name ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete your joy will be full spiritually lord take us to that place where our joy is full where we are walking in the gifts of the spirit according to how you ordained us where we are manifesting the fivefold ministry and the gifts the nine gifts of the holy spirit father we ask activate activate let 2023 uh, not close uh, without the activation uh, of the fullness uh, of the gifts. Uh, spiritually, Lord, uh, take us there uh, to where joy is full. Uh, Lord, we ask, we ask, we ask. In every dimension, in our families, in, in our homes, in our families, in our homes, in our relationships, in our professional jobs, in our businesses. Oh Lord, in the ministry, in everything we do. Lord, we are asking for fullness of joy. Show us the path. Show us the path, Lord. Tell us where to go, my God. Speak to us, mighty King. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we worship you, oh God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Brethren, I want us to pray again. Jesus said we should ask. You know, he said, you show us the pathway of life. Do you know, today I had a meeting with our uh, pro vice chancellor. And um, the VC asked to meet me when I won the award, um, the EDI Outstanding Contribution Award. Um, the VC got his PA to... I asked me to meet him, you know. So before meeting the, 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 the VC, I prayed. I said, Lord, I asked for wisdom and I asked that you would go ahead of me so that, you know, the pro vice chancellor wants to meet me. There must be a fruit out of the meeting. So when I met the pro vice chancellor today, he said something to me. It hit my spirit, not because of work, but for our spiritual lives. When he said it, it was as if I'm hearing something about the word of God. He said to me, he said to me, you know what? 
We have to be strategic. We have to make sure that you have the correct mentorship and the correct understanding, the, the correct the correct teaching to align yourself. He said, because if you don't have the correct mentorship, the correct direction, you can do all these wonderful things. And then in 10 years time, look at yourself and, and say, Lord, why am I still here? How come I'm not a professor? How come I've not been promoted? How come I've not moved forward? You can do many wonderful things and then look in 10 years time, still be in the same place unless you understand the strategy. Brethren, when you were speaking, all I was hearing about was the spiritual things. Now, I say, God, it's possible to know the scriptures. It's possible to know the verses. It's possible to know. You know what you've been taught. Like, you know, as a group of people, how many things have we been taught? We have been taught so much. It's possible to know all these things. And still, they talk about the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You don't have it. They talk about the gifts of the Holy Ghost. You don't have it. You dwell amongst people who pray. You can't pray. You dwell amongst people who can teach the bible you can't understand one verse you 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 just like you're not moving forward in 10 years time you're looking back the people who were in primary school when you gave your life to christ are now babbling in tongues and teaching and you are there in the same place it's an abomination, isn't it? I want us to pray to God and say, Lord, show me the pathway of life. I don't want to be the same as we enter 2024. I must not still be at the level I was in when I was about to enter 2023. If this December, I'm in the same spiritual place as I was this time last year, then I've backslidden because the path of the just is like a shining light which shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. Nothing is stagnant. If you're still where you were this time last year, then it means you've gone backwards because everything moves forward consistently, continuously. Child of God, let us pray. Father God, uh, help me. Uh, show me the pathway of life. Uh, remove the veils uh, and the scales uh, and the blinkers uh, and the mindsets uh, that have caused me to walk in mediocrity spiritually. Lord, remove uh, whatever it is uh, that has hindered uh, the forward movement. Uh, whatever it is, Lord, uh, that has been stopping us. Uh, Lord, show me the pathway of life. Show me the pathway, oh God. Open my eyes, mighty God. By the blood of the Lamb of God, Jesus. Show me, show me, Lord. Live a zava kaza mahanda. Ezeva kuza mahekele maha. Ina namosi kandele bosia. Namosia. Child of God, you're not going to just do all these good things and remain the same. You're not going just to keep fasting and remain the same. Keep showing up for prayer meeting and remain the same. Keep reading the Bible, remaining the same. No, Lord, show me. Hele ma shekele bo. Lord, show me, show me, oh God. Because in your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Take me there, oh God. Take me there. Take me there, oh God. Shana Mahanda. Shana Mahanda. Jagada Take us there, oh God. Take us there. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord Jesus spoke and said to the angel of the church in Philadelphia in Revelation 3.7. He said, these are the words of the Holy One, the True One. He who has the key to the house of David. He who opens and no one will be able to shut. He who shuts and no one opens. I want you to pray and say, Lord, you have the key. Lord, you have the key to my spiritual growth, to my spiritual increase, to my understanding, to deeper revelation, to deeper insight. You have the key. Lord, I pray, show me the key in this season, in this hour. Show me the key. Ah, Enlighten the eyes of my understanding. Enlighten the eyes of my understanding. Le ba 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 show me lord you have the key lord open the door to understanding just like oh god the prayer in ephesians 1 18 let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened let me know what is the hope of my calling what are the riches of the glory of your inheritance in the saints let me understand what is the exceeding greatness of your power towards us who believe according to the work 
working of your mighty power, which you wrote in Christ, Lord, uh, when you raised him from the dead uh, and set him at your own right hand in the heavenly places, uh, far above all principality and power and might and dominion. Every name that is named, uh, not only in this world, uh, but also in the world to come. Lord, you've put everything under the feet of Jesus. Uh, give me revelation, oh God. Uh, I receive the keys. Uh, I receive the keys. Uh, the keys. Uh, the keys. Uh, the keys. Uh, when Peter had a revelation that you are the Messiah, you said, uh, I give you the keys of the kingdom. I give you the keys. Uh, Lord, I receive that revelation. That is the keys of the kingdom. I receive understanding. Uh, I receive wisdom. Uh, I receive insight. Uh, wisdom in the name of Jesus. Shakabale gadosia. Child of God, receive the keys. Father, for the church of God, we receive the keys. All your children. All of us, oh God, in the church of God, we receive the keys. In the name of Jesus. Lord, help us. In the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter 2, there was a mystery that needed to be solved. And Daniel and his friends understood that God is able to reveal the deep and secret things. They came to the Lord and they began to seek the compassion of the Lord God. They said, Lord, in Daniel 2, 18, they came to God to desire the mercies of the God of heaven, to desire the mercies of the God of heaven concerning the secret that Nebuchadnezzar had put towards them. The secret, they asked for the mercies of God, the mercies of Jehovah. Child of God, you and I, let us ask God for his mercies, the mercies of the God of heaven. The Amplified said they came to seek compassion from the God of heaven regarding the secret. Look, the king had the secret but these children needed to know the secret child of god our families our bloodlines our nations our cities and our towns they have secrets there are some secrets that unless you decipher you get the key and you unlock unlock the mystery you unlock the secret it keeps replaying evil cycles it keeps replaying limitations it keeps carrying on bloodline de defects and and, and 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 failures but you know that when the secret is revealed i want us to pray oh god almighty I desire your mercy, oh God. I desire the mercies of the God of heaven concerning every secret that I need to know. Father, every secret that I need to know this December, the secret that I need to end 2023, the way you ordained for me to end it. Lord, I pray mercies, oh God, mercies of the God of heaven. Compassion, Lord, show me your mercy. Show the church your mercy. Show us your compassion. Reveal, oh God. Reveal, Lord. The secret to the breakthrough, the secret to the deliverance, the secret to the healing, the secret to the transformation, the secret the secret things belong unto the Lord, but the things that are revealed belong to us and our children forever. Deuteronomy 29 29. Oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus, reveal the secrets, reveal the deep and secret things, reveal the things that tend in Masia, the revelation that becomes a heritage for generations to come. Lord, we pray for revelation by your mercies oh god by your mercies oh god by your mercies oh god reveal to us in the name of jesus the bible says in daniel 2 19 then the secret was revealed to daniel in a vision of the night and daniel blessed the god of heaven and said blessed be the name of god forever and ever for wisdom and power belong to him it is he who changes the times and the seasons he removes kings and establishes kings he gives wisdom to the wise and greater knowledge to those who have understanding it is he who reveals the profound and the hidden things. He knows what is in the darkness and the light dwells with him. I thank you and praise you, O God of my fathers, for you have given me wisdom and power. In other words, power goes with wisdom. Wisdom goes with power. If I have wisdom, if I have the key, then I have the power. 
And once I have the wisdom and the power, the season changes. Once I get the wisdom for the breakthrough, the wisdom for the healing, the wisdom for the transformation, the wisdom for the promotion, I get power and my season changes. And I begin to walk in a season of wisdom and power. Child of God, begin to pray. As we end 2023 and we enter 2024, Almighty God, reveal the secret to us like you did to Daniel. He received the revelation in the visions of the night. Lord, we receive visions of the night for all your children here on this planet for more God. I pray for visions of the night, for revelations oh God, in the name of Jesus because God Almighty, wisdom and power belong to you and when you give us the wisdom, we get the power and when we have the power, we have the wisdom and our seasons change our seasons change for the better mighty god i pray in the name of jesus reveal to us oh god wisdom and power belong to you greater knowledge you give you give wisdom to the wise lord give us wisdom give us greater knowledge greater knowledge reveal the profound and the hidden things Reveal, oh God, the profound and the hidden things. You reveal the deep and the secret things. You know what is in the darkness. Lord, we pray for revelation. Let your light shine in our lives, in our families. Lord, we receive that wisdom and power that we need to end this year well and to enter 2024 with the right keys, with the right wisdom, with the right understanding, with the right level. In the name of Jesus, we will not walk blindly. In the name of Jesus, we will not fall into the devices and the schemes and the traps of the wicked ones. May we walk with wisdom in the name of Jesus. Father, it will not be said of us that we've not moved forward, that we are still the same. Lord God Almighty, reveal to us as we end this year and enter 2024. Lord, we receive that grace for forward movement. We will not look back 10 years and say, where have the 10 years gone? We're still the same. God forbid uh, that we remain the same uh, in this season of power. You said your people shall be willing in the days of your power. This is the day of your power, Lord, and we, your people, we are willing. We are willing uh, in these days of your power. We are willing, Lord. Masikalabash. Uh, we surrender to you, Lord. We surrender to the Holy Spirit. We surrender to you, Almighty God. We receive the grace to co-labor with the angel armies that you have assigned to us. We receive the grace to cooperate with the men in white linen and all the heavenly realms. In the name of Jesus, we believe that all creation has been employed to help us in this season. And we receive the grace to cooperate with the whole of creation and with your agenda mighty God that your will be done your truth be made manifest in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus father we thank you we bless your name honor to your name in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus name amen